I'm going to leave out the comments on this one for right now, other than the energy division. And this will also show you how to do the, the type casting. So we're going to do our includes. And I'm going to do include string because we're also going to do a uppercase real quick if we have time. Uh, include the IO manip. Okay, so now let's just create an integer, and we'll call it number one equals zero. And number two equals zero. See out. What is first number? C in number one. And then See out what is second number. And we're going to actually calculate the average. What is second number? CN number two. So now we need a floating point for the average. So we're going to get the average of two numbers. So we want to float, or you can use double. Either way is okay. So here you would want to comment. Something like that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to type the average. So let's create another one in here. And we'll call it the sum. So we'll do the sum and the average. So the sum is certainly going to be the, uh, let's see, number one plus number two. And if you remember your math, the average is the sum divided by the number of numbers that we have. In this particular case, it's going to be 2. So we're going to use 2 in there instead of creating a constant in there. So we're going to do average, and we're going to do sum. Let's do this again. Sum. Is there a way to, like, say... Since there's already two numbers already there, so you say average equals sum divided by whatever is inside the sum? I'm not sure I'm following what you're saying. I don't know, maybe you're talking about arrays, because it's like you have, I don't know. If you have the average, like the sum already knows there's 32 numbers in there, so I'll be sum, but it's like a container, because it already knows that there's two variables in there. So... I don't know. I can't explain it. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, in order to get the, well, 
I, I'm not sure what you're saying. You're probably thinking, could you do average equals number one plus number two divided by two? And the answer is yes, but I don't really want you to do that. You, it's too much, uh, too much chance of making an error. So we now, so and especially when you know you're going to get the right thing, but if something goes wrong, you're going to try to figure out what's going on. So here we have some. So let's go in here and put out um, C out. And we'll print out just the average for right now. Average of is average. So we're going to do 5 and 2. So we should get 2.5. So, and we're not doing set precision or anything like that right now. So let's go and see what happens. So the first number is going to be 5. And the second number is going to be 2. So we should get uh, 3.5. But we're getting 3. So why is that? Ah, I said, well, that's because we didn't use set precision or fixed. Okay, so we'll... Take care of that. So we're going to do C out, fix, and set precision. To two. And now let's run it again and see what happens. I claim this time it's going to say 3.00. Let's see if I know what I'm talking about. So we're going to do 5 and 2. Oh, 3.00. Now, why did that happen? It's very simple. When you divide an integer by an integer, which is what we're doing, you're going to get an integer as an answer. So what's happening here, average, so the sum is 7. Dividing it by 2 gives you 3.5, but because... This is integer division. This is an integer, and this is an integer. Your result is always going to be an integer. There's nothing that you can do about it. So what's going to happen, it's going to change it and going to trunk everything off from the decimal point. So the way we do that is that's where you do the, the typecast. And we're just going to put a little float in front of it. You could also change this to 2.0. So let's see what happens now. So the first number is 5, the second number is 2, and now we have 3.50. So be very, very careful about integer division. In there. So just remember, whenever you're dividing an integer by an integer, it's not going to work. Now, you may think, well, I can just convert it to a float, but you can't do that because as once it's an integer, it stays an integer. So it'll just add zeros at it. So you want to create this to make it a float. So now sum is a float, and then you're dividing a float by an integer, still gives you a float. So. That Couldn't is an integer division. It, I'm sorry, say that again. Couldn't you just make it a float in the beginning and not have to do that? Yeah, oh, yes, you could. But remember, there are a lot of things that are going to require an integer, such as possibly a grade. So if you wanted to get grades of students in there and you want to get the average, they're all going to be. But yes, you could. Uh, you could do that. But just remember, you want to kind of stick uh, if something is only going to be an integer, you should use an integer. But the more, you know, again, uh, it goes back. I love that comment. It takes practice. You're going to get beat up. You're going to have issues. It's, this isn't going to work. So that's why I'm having you type everything and doing one step at a time. So let's go over one more time about how to do your projects and how to do it in here. There should be a, let me find it. All right, here is your program checklist.
So these are all the things that you want to check, you know, just print this out. So is the top commenter with your program name? Is the top commenter with the description of in here? So again, variables, are they all declared first? And as we get into longer programs, you're going to see that. Is it Are all variables declared on separate lines? Are all variables initialized? Are any variables initialized with a calculation? So th this should be no. There should be, in other words, you should not go and initialize something using any kind of calculation at all. Uh, let's see, what do we have in here? Are all variable names descriptive? T is not a variable. If you're trying to keep a time for something, don't use T. Or like we, we did the number of touchdowns, NT is not a good variable name in here. Are all variable names in camel case? Are all variables commented? Are there any floats or doubles that should be an integer? So, you know, really you want to try to use integer for the most part. Would the program be wrong if you didn't? No, but it's, you want to have good programming standard. Um, are constants used for items that cannot change? So you want to try to use that. Are all constants in uppercase? Input is a CN on the same line as the prompt. In here, are there any? So this is a little bit um, uh, advanced right now. We don't need that. Are all calculations in parentheses? <laughs> you love this one. Are all calculations inside calculations in parentheses? <laughs> are there any literals in calculations? In other words, you should use a constant. Remember when we did the um, the 100 and the 0? That's Those are literals. But And you can see how we would have to change them all. Are all calculations commented properly? Are percentages, when we get into percentages, uh, we'll talk about that, spacing and output formatting. So if you follow those, 